Shalom, shalom. Brother Yasir, keep us a sheep. Back with another lesson. Um, most high will is edifying to you, lost sheep, to your brother in the truth, laboring and uh, keeping the commandment to the best of your ability, man. Shalom. Uh, I want to start off by giving all praise, honoring the Lord to the most high Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, uh, double honors and uh, double honors to you, elders and apostles who rule well, man. And um, today's today's lesson will be titled Exhortation and uh, Chance and Time. Uh, I want to go into exhortation because uh, exhortation is something it's it's something it's something we need to go into daily. It's something we need to do daily with one another, and it's truth. Because uh, brothers need exhortation, man. So we'll start there. We are. Uh, we started uh, Hebrews three and thirteen. Uh, it's Hebrews chapter three verse thirteen. But exhort one another, exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So, like I said, man, you wanna uh, you wanna exhort brother, ex exhort brothers daily, man, because uh, like I said, me myself uh, a couple days ago. I needed some exhortation because, uh, you know, the, uh, I was letting the world get the best of me. And just, you know, the ex expectations I got for myself, man. And But brothers got to understand that, that you know, it, it's, that's why that's why I titled it Exhortation, Chance, and Time. Because right now may not be the be the time. It's, it's a time and place for everything. But we're going to get into that. I want to uh, I wanna uh, jump to places. Eclasis. Places uh, nine and eleven. Uh, understand, man. You, you can't, you can't, you can't be in this truth and do it alone. You can't be in this truth and do it by yourself. You, 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 you need brothers. You need sincere brothers around you. Like you, 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 you like we need one another, man. That's why I say gather yourselves together, all nation not desire. But uh, yeah, we're starting Ecclesiastes uh, nine and eleven. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happening to them all. So, like the scriptures say, man, chance and time, time and chance, they happen to us all. It's, it's, you, you, you may not have you may not have the best discernment right now. You may not be the strongest brother right now. You may not have the best understanding right now. You may not have you may not have the much as faith as the next brother. But hey, time and chance happen to us all. That's why you guys stay in the scripture, stay in this word, uh, surround yourself with sincere brothers, man, so you can get built up in this thing. So your chance of time come, you know, you go you you're gonna be up to par. You're gonna be where you need to be in this truth. Cause right now, right now is the time. Right now is the chance to build yourself up and uh, prove yourself to the Most High God, man. Prove yourself by, you know, having faith, man, and doing the work of the Lord. So uh, let's jump to uh, Galatians six and nine, man. Six, nine, and ten. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So don't don't get don't get weary in doing well because you don't see the fruit right now. Because you don't see, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see, you don't see things happening behind the scenes. You don't see the most high working on you daily as you as you as you doing the work. Because when you working, he working, man. Faith without works is dead. So you know, as long as you got the faith, it, but you gotta do the work also. Let's read down. Uh, let's read down to ten. And okay, it says, "As we therefore, as we as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially them who are of the household of faith." Man, so like I said, you gotta have this faith, man. That, 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 that's why. That's why. Let's, let's start back at the top. Galatians nine. I'm um, Galatians 6, 9. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. 
and let us and let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not, as we have therefore opportunity. Like he said, uh, chance of time happens to us all. So when you got so when you got the opportunity to do well, do it. When you got opportunity to extort a brother, do it. When you got because because when, when you're doing that, ultimately, ultimately you 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 building yourself and you building that brother, up, man. And, and we and we already know it's not about it's not about us in the real. It's about it's about the nation of Israel. It's about it's about the elect. It's about building. You know, it's it's not about us, man. Start back at the top. Galatians chapter six, verse nine. And let us not be weary in well doing. So don't get weary because you're doing the right thing, man. Don't don't get weary in this truth, man. Don't get weary. You you you, you trust me. You gonna reap if you you gonna reap, man. If if, if you if you doing if you doing righteous acts, you rehearsing the righteous acts. Keep it the commands to the best of your ability. Most high gonna reward you, man. We are gonna get into that too. We gonna get into that seeking the Lord. We are gonna get into that. As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith, man. So if 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 you know a brother got faith in this thing, man, he, 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 he may not he may not you know he, he may not have be having the best day. It don't even matter if he having the best day. We gotta start one other daily, man. That's what the scriptures say. That's uh, they jump to Matthew. They jump to Matthew six. Matthew 6 and 32, man. I'll get into this. Uh, 6, 32. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh He know we need in this truth. He know we need in the world. And, and, and in the world, we, we we necessarily don't need everything in the world. Like I said, I said before, man, uh, it's things in this truth that we don't even know we need. Like uh, brothers, brother, brothers, brothers get caught up in the world and material things, and you know, and and, and, and you that's why you gotta have faith, man, because Most High, he, he he gonna he gonna give us everything we need if we if we doing if we doing. If we, if we if we doing the work, man. So uh, it's a lot of things we need, like uh, discernment, faith, understanding. We need grace. We need favor. We need mercy. The, these are the things. These are things we need. These are things we we really, really, we really need. So uh, don't don't get caught up. Don't, don't pray, pray for not. Don't don't pray for things of, the, of this world, man. Pray for things above, man. Uh, let's jump down to uh, thirty-three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, which we know is the law, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. So when you when you seek the most high God and his kingdom and you seeking righteousness, man, which keep these laws, statutes, the commandment, all these things gonna be added unto you. So that faith that you need, that discernment that you need, that grace, favor, mercy, all these things you need, when you start uh seeking the most high God first in his kingdom and his righteousness, which is the, we know is the laws, when you start doing these things. Everything you need gonna be added to you. You you won't you ain't gonna have to you ain't gonna have to worry about it because most high gonna supply you with it. Excuse me, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna come with this thing. It's come with it come with this thing. It's like a package deal. It's like a you you you, you do your part, man, and you get all it. You get and and, that, and that's just that's just things we that we we don't we haven't even seen the things that he got prepared for us in the kingdom, man. All right, uh, next pre sale. Uh, let's get uh, Zephaniah, man. Zephaniah two and Zephaniah chapter 2, let's see, yeah, 3, uh, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3, and it says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meat of the earth, which have brought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger, man. So, man, you seeking, seeking the Lord, 
and seeking his righteousness, man. Well, when 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 the most high when the most high continue to visit this earth, because he already began to visit the earth, man. So when he continue to visit the earth, and we know uh he'll soon we got Jacob Trouble on the rise, man. Don't you want to be saved out of that? Don't you don't don't you wanna don't you wanna make it to the chariots? Don't you and if not, don't you wanna make it to the kingdom, man? Don't you don't you wanna be saved? That's why you gotta see the most high God, man. You how about some y'all shots in his righteousness. But uh with that, man, we're gonna wrap it up. And uh, I want to say, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom.